In this session, let us try to find the GCD of two polynomials a of x and b of x. Now, how do we define the GCD of the polynomial a of x and b of x? It is defined as a polynomial of maximum de degree that divides both a of x and b of x. Right? So now, the Euclid's algorithm which was used to find the GCD of two numbers a and b is also used to find the GCD of two polynomials a of x and b of x. Right? So now, to find the, uh, to find the GCD of two polynomials, let us take an example. Let a of x be equal to x power 6 plus x power 5 plus x power 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 and let us consider b of x to be equal to x power 4 plus x square plus x plus 1. <clears throat> so I need to find the GCD of a of x and b of x. Now all operations are performed in gf of 2. That means we perform addition in mod 2. So let us observe this. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. But 2 in mod 2 is 0. Right? So this is what we will be using gf of 2 to find the polynomial a of x to find the GCD of polynomials a of x and b of x. Right. So first divide a of x by b of x. So x power 6 plus x power 5 plus x power 4 plus x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. So I have x power 4 plus x square plus x plus 1. Right? So I need to first eliminate x power 6. So I have x square. Right? So x square into this polynomial will give me x power 6 plus x power 4 plus x cube plus x square. Okay? Right? So x square times b of x gives me this. So here the addition is performed over gf of 2. So here I have x power 6 plus x power 6 which is 2 x power 6. So whenever the addition is 2, it is 0 over gf of 2, right? So x power 6 gets cancelled. Similarly x power 4 gets cancelled. x cube x square. So I am left with x power 5 plus x plus 1, right? So x power 5 degree is higher than x power 4 b of x. So therefore plus x because I need to eliminate x power 5. Right? So x into b of x will give me x power 5 plus x cube plus x square plus x. Right? So I am writing the powers one below the other so that it is easier for me to eliminate them. So x power 5, x gets cancelled, so I am left with x cube plus x square plus 1. So this is the quotient and this is the remainder. So if we remember Euclid's algorithm to find the GCD of two numbers, after the first round of operation, what is done? a of x is replaced by b of x and b of x is replaced by the remainder r of x. Right? So basically what we are doing is we are replacing in place of a of x I have b of x and in place of r of x I have in, in place of a of x is b of x and in place of b of x we write r of x. So essentially I will be dividing b of x by r of x. So what do I have? We have b of x which is x power 4 plus x square plus x plus 1 divided by x cube 
plus x square plus 1 right so I need to eliminate x power 4 so multiply this with x so I get x power 4 x into x square is x cube and then x into 1 is x so x power 4 gets cancelled x gets cancelled so I have x cube plus x square plus 1 right okay so to eliminate this I multiply this with the new b of x with 1 so we have x cube plus x square plus 1 so the remainder is 0 so when the current remainder is 0 then the GCD of e of x and b of x is the previous remainder so therefore GCD of e of x comma b of x happens to be x cube plus x square plus 1 so this is finding the GCD of a of x and b of x over g of of 2 let's take another example <clears throat> so find the GCD of a of x and b of x where a of x is x cube plus x plus 1 and b of x is x square plus x plus 1 so what do we do first we divide a of x by b of x so x cube plus x plus 1 you divide it with x square plus x plus 1 right so I need so this is over g of, of 2 right so you need to eliminate x square so multiply b of x with x so you get x cube plus x square plus x right so x cube plus x square plus x so x cube gets eliminated x gets eliminated so we have plus x square plus 1 right ok so now the power of b of x is x square the power of remainder the current value is also x square so that has to be eliminated so plus 1 1 into b of x gives me x square plus x plus 1 so x square and 1 gets eliminated the remainder is x so now what do we do I need to replace the current val value of a of x with b of x and b of x with r of x for the next stage right so I basically divide x square plus x plus 1 ok so now in the position of a of x I write b of x in the position of b of x I write the remainder x right so x square has to be eliminated multiply the new b of x with x so we get x square x square gets eliminated so have x plus 1 so multiply the new b of b of x with 1 so you get x so the answer is 1 ok so let us proceed <coughs> to the next one so replace the current a of x with b of x and replace the current b of x with the remainder so a of x is x square plus x plus 1 here right so I have instead of that I have x and then remainder is 1 so 1 this is the new b of x this is the new a of x so I have x here ok x into 1 gives me x x x gets cancelled the remainder is 0 ok so when, when the remainder is 0 the previous remainder obtained is the GCD of A of x and B of x so therefore the GCD of A of x and B of x is 1 so GCD of x cube 
plus x plus 1 and x square plus x plus 1 is 1. Now let us perform GCD of two polynomials over GF of 3. So we have seen how we can find the GCD over GF of 2. So let's see how we can perform GCD of two polynomials over GF of 3. Right? So we have numbers 0, 1 and 2. Since we are considering GF of 3, Right? So now, let me complete this table. So this is addition over gf of 3. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So 3 in mod 3 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 in mod 3 is 0. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 and mod 3 is 1, right? So we do observe that when we get 3, it is equivalent to 0 in mod 3 or over gf of 3, right? So let's consider two polynomials e of x. So let us try to find the GCD of a of x and b of x. So a of x is given by this and this is b of x. So to find the GCD divide a of x by b of x. Since the operation is done over gf of 3, right? Since the operation is done over gf of 3, we have to use this table, right? As we have already seen. And there is a negative sign here, minus x squared or minus x. So what is minus 1 in mod 3? Minus 1 in mod 3 is 2. So when we are operating in mod 3, the value numbers are 0, 1 and 2, right? So therefore you add 3 to minus 1 to get 2, okay? So here in this case, I can replace minus x square by 2x square and minus x by 2x. So we retain it as it is and we will make the substitution later. So now this x power 5 has to be eliminated. So when can I eliminate x power 5? Only when I have 3x power 5. Right? So we can get 3x power 5 only when I multiply b of x with 2x square. So multiply b of x with 2x square. So we get 2x power 5 plus 2x square into x square 2x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 2x square. So we get 3x power 5 plus 3x power 4 plus 3x cube. So 3x power 5 is 0, 3x power 4 is 0, 3x cube is 0 because we are operating over gf of 3. 2x square minus x square is plus x square minus x plus 1. Right? So now can I write minus x is 2x squared? Yes, because minus 1 and mod 3 is 2. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So this is the remainder. So now what do we do? Replace the current ax with b of x and the current b of x with the remainder. So divide the new a of x which is x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 by the remainder x square plus 2x plus 1. So x cube has to be eliminated. I can eliminate x cube only when I have 3x cube. So multiply the new b of x with 2x. So we get 2x cube plus 4 x square plus 2x. So this is 3x cube plus 5x square plus 3x plus 1. Right? So 3x cube is 0, 3x is 0, 5x square. So 5 in mod 3 is 2. 
So we get 2x square plus 1. 2x square plus 1. Okay. So now the power is x square and the power is x square. So plus 1, the new P of x into 1. Right? So we have x square plus 2x plus 1. So we get 3x square plus 2x plus 2. So 3x square gets eliminated. So we have 2x square plus 2 which is the remainder. So what do we do? Replace a of x with b of x and b of x with r of x. So essentially I divide this by this. Right? So let's do the division. So we have to divide x square plus 2x plus 1 by 2x plus 2. So multiply this with x, we get 2x square plus 2x. <clears throat> so I am left with 3x square plus 4x plus 1. So this is 0. 4 in mod 3 is 1. So I get x plus 1. Okay. So multiply the new b of x with 1. So we get 2x plus 2. So I have 3x plus 3. 3x is 0 and 3 is 0 in mod 5. So the final remainder is 0. Okay, so when the final remainder is 0, the previous remainder happens to be the GCD of E of x and B of x. So what is the previous remainder? The previous remainder is 2x plus 2 or it is x plus 1 by taking 2 common. So the GCD of A of x comma B of x is the previous value of remainder 2x plus 2. 